So finally you have got your hands on the Apple TV 4K. And this is hands down one of the best TV boxes out there. So congrats. And in today's beginner's guide, I'll guide you through the setup process of your Apple TV 4K, starting from the very beginning, all the way to your Apple TV home screen. So let's get going. The first step is connecting an HDMI cable to your Apple TV box's HDMI port and the other end of the HDMI cable to your smart TV. As your Apple TV doesn't come with an included HDMI cable, you'll need to pick a high quality one. Plug it into your Apple TV box properly and then connect it to a power source. And if you have an Ethernet cable lying around, you can connect your Apple TV box with your router using the cable to get wired internet. After that, your Apple TV will turn on on its own, and you will see the white power LED. And on your smart TV, you will just need to go to the HDMI input. Now you will see the iconic Halo screen. Now you will just need to grab your Siri remote, try pressing some buttons, and it should get connected right away. And we can start the setup process by selecting our language, then region, then press continue on data privacy. After that, it will prompt you to set it up using your iPhone or iPad, which is very simple. But if you don't have an iPhone or iPad available, or you just want to do it using a remote, then select setup manually, which I always prefer, because you get the option to customize every settings. So the next option will be Siri and dictation. We'll definitely select use Siri, then it will ask you if you want to improve your Siri and dictation by sharing audio recording. If you don't want it, then just select not now, no big deal. After that, we'll need to connect your Apple TV to a Wi-Fi. Just select your Wi-Fi network from the list, carefully type in your password using the D-pad, or you can also use the swipe gesture, or you can press down on the microphone button at the right of your remote and spell out the letters one by one, which is awesome and really handy. After we are connected to the Wi-Fi, we'll need to log in with our Apple ID. So we'll put in our email and the password, after which it will send a verification code on one of your Apple devices or via mail. Just put in the code to finish activating your TV. Then enable or disable location services. Choose if you want to send analytics to Apple. Agree to the terms and conditions and choose whether you want to require passcode or passkey for your purchases. Then if you have a TV provider, you can set it up. I'll just select not now. And also if you have multiple Apple TVs, you can enable home screen sync, which will sync your home screen's layout across all the Apple TVs. After that, just give your Apple TV a name by selecting a room. And finally, 